Tuesday night, they hosted Manchester City. Victory would send the Italians through. Even a draw might do it. Defeat for Roma would see City qualify, depending on results elsewhere. Roma began brightly, with Jovino testing Joe Hart. After an hour, Roma's defence retreated, and Samir Nasri took his invitation to strike. A memorable goal that stunned the Stadio Olimpico. In response, Raja Nainggolan took aim, before Totti's night came to an end. There was time for another heart save from Costas Manolas. But Roma were heading out, and Pablo Zabaleta's late goal sends them into the UEFA Europa League. But that won't dilute one man's unquenchable desire to wear their famous shirt. In the other game in Group E, Bayern ended Seska Moscow's hopes of qualification with a 3-0 win over the Russians. Mario Goetze completing the scoring in the 90th minute. Wins in their last two games secured Manchester City a place in the knockout phase alongside Bayern. Barcelona finished top of their group for a record eighth consecutive season after a 3-1 win over Paris Saint-Germain. Lionel Messi, Neymar and Luis Suarez with the Barca goals. Ajax guaranteed international football after the winter break with a 4-0 win over Apoel. Lasse Schoener scored two of the Amsterdamers' four goals as they eased into the UEFA Europa League. Barcelona and PSG enter the knockout phase, while Sapoel finished Group F winners. Porto threw 1-1 against Shakhtar Donetsk on Wednesday after the Ukrainians had taken the lead. Vassal Abubakar rescued the point for the hosts three minutes from time as they finished the group stage undefeated. Athletic Bilbao sealed third place in the group with a 2-0 win over Barty Borisov. Mikel San Jose was on target for his third successive game as Athletic ended the group stage with consecutive victories. Barté conceded a record 24 goals in six matches. Porto and Shakhtar progress. In Group C, Monaco welcomed Zenit St. Petersburg to Stade Louis de, knowing a draw would be enough to see them through to the knockout phase. For the visitors, the equation was simple. Win and qualify at Monaco's expense. Andre Villas-Boas's side started brightly enough, dominating possession and creating the best of the chances in the first half. But after conceding only one goal throughout the group stage, it was fitting that Monaco's defenders would write the headlines. First, Amen Abdenor with a fine header, and then Fabinho providing the goals that would seal Monaco's progression. A victory shared by the players with their buoyant fans. Leverkusen needed a win to guarantee top spot in Group C, but could only manage a goalless draw with Benfica. The hosts had the best chance, but finished bottom of the group for the first time in their history. So Monaco finished top. Despite scoring only four goals, Leverkusen joined them in the knockout phase. In Group A, a nil-nil draw in Turin was enough for Juventus to qualify. The Italian champions joined Atletico Madrid in the last 16, whose fifth consecutive clean sheet saw them top the group. Olympiakos finished in third ahead of Malmö after a 4-2 win over the Swedish side. Alejandro Dominguez gave the Greek champions a second half lead after Malmö had levelled on the hour mark. The Swedes equalised for a second time, but victory was sealed through goals from Kostas Mitroglou and Ibrahim Mafalai. Atletico finished top, with Juve also qualifying for the round of 16. Chelsea secured a comfortable 3-1 victory over Sporting in London. Andre Schürrle scored the pick of the goals as the Blues finished unbeaten in the group stage. Schalke leapfrogged Sporting into second place with a win over Maribor. Substitute Max Meyer with the crucial goal in Slovenia for Roberto Di Matteo's side. So Schalke joined Chelsea in the last 16 to the UEFA Europa League for Sporting. Galatasaray finished Group D without a win as they suffered another 4-1 defeat by Arsenal. No doubting the best of their goals, Aaron Ramsey's second of the night. Wesley Snyder's thunderous late free kick was little more than a consolation for Gallon, who finished
finish the group stage with a solitary point. Arsenal's win wasn't enough for them to top Group D as they finished behind Dortmund. A two-all draw with Liverpool on match day five wasn't enough to keep Ludogorets in this year's competition. But travelling to the iconic Santiago Bernabeu to face the current holders seemed like a fitting end to a truly remarkable journey. And an opportunity to not just capture, but savour the moment. On the night, however, once Ludogorets were reduced to ten men, Real were just too strong. Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bale put the host two up. Alvaro Arbeloa and competition debutant Alvaro Medran completed the scoring. 4-0 it finished, but for Ludogorets Razgrad, plenty of cause for optimism for future campaigns. With Real Madrid confirmed as Group B winners, all eyes turn to Anfield and Liverpool's meeting with Basel to see who would join the holders in the round of 16. A draw would be enough for the visitors to progress, whilst five times winners Liverpool had to win. But Basel had soon stunned Merseyside. In the 25th minute, Fabian Frey finished superbly to give the Swiss champions a deserved lead. Marco Strella then nearly added a second. Liverpool were in disarray. With time running out and Brendan Rodgers' side down to 10 men, Steven Gerrard, who else, breathed life into their campaign. Ten years ago, the Reds came back from a similar group stage position, but there would be no fairy tale this time. FC Basel progressed to the knockout phase for just the second time in 12 years. For Liverpool and their coach, their UEFA Champions League journey ends here. We go out tonight. We're obviously bitterly disappointed, but with uh, a lot of learning taking place over the course of the games, and as I said, we're going to fight very hard to be back in it next year.